Joining me now is the Penal County, Arizona Sheriff and U.S. Senate candidate, uh, Sheriff Mark Lamb. Sheriff, good morning to you and thank you so much for joining us. Good morning to you. Thanks for having me on. These numbers are absolutely staggering. 35,000 in just four days. The situation continues to get worse. Um, Art Del Cueto told us it's the worst that he's seen in his lifetime. Your reaction? Well, it's the worst that my guys have seen as well, Jackie. You know, we uh, work with Border Patrol. We have a couple helicopters. We use those helicopters to help them achieve their mission. And the other day, our guys were out doing uh, 911 calls, rescue missions for the people that the cartels had left behind. And my pilots were saying, we've never seen it this bad. There's people everywhere in the desert out there. And Art, you know, will tell you as well, one of the places where they don't allow you to go out and look is out on the reservation at the San Miguel entrance. And that place is being flooded as well, which is probably not being viewed by much of the media. Mm. And what do we do about this massive migrant caravan that's making its way towards the southern border right now? One activist saying that it could swell to over 15,000 people. That would make it one of the largest to travel north this year. Sheriff, how are your forces preparing for this surge? We know um, that our, our agents down at the border are completely strapped and struggling to deal with the influx of migrants right now and in some cases putting their lives at risk. Oh, absolutely. I got a call on Thanksgiving Day, and imagine it's gotten a lot worse in December, as your numbers just showed, from Border Patrol on Thanksgiving Day saying they were outnumbered 200 to 1. I guarantee you that's probably closer now to 300 to 400 to 1. Can you imagine being one Border Patrol agent with all these military age men? You're seeing women here, but in Arizona, what we're typically seeing are military age men coming from places like Senegal, Chad, Mauritania, uh, Egypt. Uzbekistan. You're seeing them from all over the place. And so absolutely, I think our guys are concerned about their uh, health and safety, as are mine. How are we supposed to stop this many people? You need an actual military to stop this amount of people. And this is an invasion, Jackie. That's mm. exactly what this is. Adam? Yeah, Sheriff Lamb, Adam Johnson, uh, you just mentioned military, and I'm intrigued that the governor of Arizona, a Democrat, has actually uh, called up the reservists, the National Guard. Um, Sheriff, help us understand, um, is it possible that you could have different um, members of the government um, at odds with one another on different missions? In other words, uh, the federal agents are, are told, uh, process these people. The reservists are told, no, we're actually going to uh, maintain the integrity of the border. And then uh, uh, your people uh, working for the sheriff's department are somehow uh, caught in the middle uh, trying to spot uh, from helicopters. How do all these different agencies uh, work together and sometimes at, at odds with one another? Well, we do pretty well on the ground working together. And look, Texas is dealing with that. They'll put up barbed wire, and then you'll see the, the federal government lifting the barbed wire, cutting the barbed wire. Here in Arizona, we've, they've, she's deployed the National Guard, our governor has. But I'm afraid that the National Guard is only there to help process people faster. It's not there to stop them from coming in. And that is what the average American needs to understand. What we need is actual people there to stop them from coming in. We're not going to be able to, to solve this problem ever if we don't stop these folks from just flowing in unabated into this country. Todd? Sheriff, you are running for U.S. Senate in Arizona. As we all know, Arizona, one of the swing states that could bump Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer out of power and flip the chamber. What I'm curious about is when you're on the campaign trail, when you're talking to the voters, specifically those that are registered Democrat, are you hearing them tell you, say, hey, hey look, I voted Democrat my entire life, but because of the situation at the border, I can't vote Democrat anymore. I need to vote for change. And that's why I'm voting for a Republican and why I'm voting for you. Yeah, Todd, you're seeing that more and more every day. I go out, and honestly, the biggest issues are always going to be border, crime, the economy, and national security. And national security and border security are intertwined right now because this is the greatest threat being posed to the Americans. And even the Democrats understand that. And here in Arizona, we have a lot of Hispanics in Arizona, a lot of people of Mexican descent, Guatemala descent, and they're fed up, too. They, a lot of them came the proper way put, to put the time and the effort in to be legal citizens. This is why I'm running for the Senate. I can only do so much as a sheriff. And I realize that a lot 
lot of this fight has to be taken to Washington, D.C. We got to boot these people out that are in power, impeach some of these people like my orchestra, do whatever we got to do to get them out of there. And let's get people in that understand what this issue is and that are going to willing to fix it and put America first and Americans first. Sheriff, we were talking earlier about some new polls that indicate that Trump is leading Biden in seven swing states. Arizona is on that list as well. Um, your thoughts on the ground from the folks that you're speaking to. You mentioned some of the issues voters are thinking about as they move into the election season of 2024. Um, you know, I, I guess the question really is, has it gotten bad enough to shift people's view in a meaningful way when they go vote? Yeah, that's a great question, Jackie, because in 2022, I don't think it was bad enough. People were still making a lot of money. People were still driving nice cars. They had food in their cupboards. That's totally different now. People are struggling. This economy is killing people. It's breaking the backs of the American people. And then you throw the border situation on top, which isn't getting better. They know about it. We're complaining about it. The media is talking about it. And yet this government does not do anything about it. They go to Mexico to try to solve the problem down there. The reality is they're not interested in fixing this. This is exactly part of their plan. Mm. They want to reinvent America or like Obama said, fundamentally transform America. This is part of a plan. And uh, unfortunately, the American people are the victims of the plan of this administration. And reforming immigration in this way will fundamentally change America, as you suggest. Final question, Sheriff. Um, when we talk about this trip, uh, Mayorkas and Blinken going down to Mexico, I mean, we haven't seen this administration take any action whatsoever. So, I mean, why bother even with this trip? It, it seems like it's just an optical illusion to me. It's a dog and pony show. That's exactly what it is. They want to make the American people think that they're trying to solve the root problem. Uh, look, Mexico just is letting everybody come through like a matador, you know, like a bull running past them. Ole. They just let them come right up into America because they don't want them to stay there in Mexico. President Trump's plan of 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 uh, remain in Mexico worked. We were having the least amount of problems we ever saw in our careers under President Trump. And now yeah. we got these guys in office. And for the last three years, it has progressively gotten worse and worse, if you can actually imagine that. And it continues to get worse every day, um, which is why we need to stop it as Americans. Yeah, I'm glad you re mentioned that it's optics to, to make it seem as if they're trying to address the root problem. On Sunday Morning Futures with Maria, Senator Ron Johnson said the administration is the root problem. Sheriff, we're going to have to leave it there. Sheriff Mark Lamb, thank you. Happy New Year. You too.